Hi, let's take a look at a larger new window 10 project with SPAT Revolution, Nuage, and our MMP1 processor in a live setup environment. I have a 32 channel project here with a marker track and a few markers for time reference of different music segments, which could also include some automations. I've created different folders for each group of instrument and gave a unique colors to each group. Inserted SPAT Revolution VST Sand plugin post fader on each track, matching the name of each new window channel on the SPAT plugin, as well as enabled the local audio path and true options. I've also added a VCA channels for each group of instrument, percussions, brass, wind, and string in this case, as well as a master VCA channel to control VCAs of each group of instrument. I have two dedicated mono channels, one for the spat room reverb and output controls, and the other for the sub control room with a SPAT VST room plugin inserted. Now in this configuration, I have 32 mono input channels, plus two mono channels for the SPAT reverb and subs control rooms, and 32 mono output channels for recording. All the other tabs are blank. Now in SPAT Revolution, you can see all 32 channels from new window and two control rooms. One for 24.0, 2D speaker configuration, and the other for six subs. If we take a closer look at the first control room, I have a 24.0 2D preset speaker arrangement with a high 16 channels room reverb, and a sub control room with a 6.0 2D preset speaker arrangement with no reverb. Both control room speaker arrangement can be customized and any speaker brand can be used. Now, if we look at the MMP1 processor, we can see a 24.0 speaker inputs coming from SPAT, plus six subs for a total of 30 speakers input channels. One MMP1 processor can handle up to 32 channels, and additional MMP1 processor can be easily added to the Dante network to accommodate high speaker count configurations. You can also easily create a few speaker solo user assignable buttons like front fill, side speakers, rear speakers, subs, etc., which can be very useful to tune the room using an iPad, for example. In this MMP1 profile, I'm using 24 speaker monitors and six LFE channels for the subs with FR filtering on all the speaker channels. Now let's take a look at the new Ash controllers, where I can navigate, save and recall different channel types, custom channel configurations, or VCAs, for example. I can easily access and manipulate any instrument or group of instruments within SPAT revolutions from the fader unit or master unit touchscreen section. Finally, you have a complete monitoring controls of the MMP1 processor on the new Ash master unit with volume control, Demon SPL settings, as well as speaker solo and mute controls. Additional source monitoring can be added with independent trim controls for each source and a sum source option. Thanks for watching.